Just arrived in Istanbul. This is one of my favorite cities in the whole world. East meets West, North meets South, Islam meets Christianity. It's a big melting pot. It's also the gateway to the Black Sea and I'm trying to do the first swim in all the seven seas of the world tomorrow. I'm going to do a swim up in the Black Sea. too strong so even with the ball we can hardly go he said and then so if you want to swim this direction impossible is there a current in this direction uh, he said no bu yönde akıntı yok değil mi şu tarafta yok şu mavi çizgide akıntı yok akıntı buradan geliyor zaten so would you rather have current with you and wind against you or wind with you and no current we are getting a huge amount of help from the mayor and his team. We've got a, an excellent captain who clearly knows his stuff. The, the difficulty here is that there's a very strong wind blowing in one direction, and the current is a very dangerous current going in the opposite direction. So one's got to try and balance the two. Okay, I'm really, really looking forward to this swim because the first three have been a little bit tough. Uh, I've had a back injury a number of months ago and I haven't really felt as if I've been going at 100%, but this one, okay, I'm really looking forward to it. And also we've got some Turkish swimmers who are uh, decent uh, Turkish marathon swimmers who are gonna be coming in and joining me. So I'm looking forward to racing them along the coast of the Black Sea. We're gonna, we're gonna turn and take it 50, 50 meters out there. Yeah. Okay, so you can get it all safely. Okay. <coughs> what is the plan? So, so which direction are we going? That way. What could, what could possibly go wrong? Well, we've just finished the first two and a half kilometers. Uh, we've got a very good team of local swimmers with him, which, which helps enormously because they, they give him a good pace and, and keep him constant. But the conditions are difficult. The seas are quite big. And unlike the other seas, the, the Black Sea is not very salty, so you don't have the same buoyancy. And as usual, we have found some fantastic local people who are prepared to do everything to make this work. And um, we're jolly lucky. It's tremendous. The goal of this expedition is very, very simple. It's to put marine protected areas, which are national parks and the sea, onto the global agenda. Less than 3% of our oceans are protected. And we're urging nations all the way around the world, but especially here in the Seven Seas, to set aside at least 10% of our seas as, as effective marine protected areas. Yeah, 500 to go. Well done, push it on. It's going to be a very good time. The Black Sea is one of the, the most polluted and overfished seas in the world. Uh, the issue with the Black Sea is that it's in, almost entirely enclosed. So there's a small gateway, a small entrance, which is the Bosphorus behind me. And that allows a little bit of water in and out, but effectively it's like an enclosed lake. Okay, so any pollution which comes in there from rivers or from land or from, or from visiting vessels uh, stays in the Black Sea. Great, great swim, Lewis. Well done. Very good. I think I think I swallowed half the, the Black Sea. That Turkish swimmer is so fast. Okay, we turn round and we go back so all you who are seasick can now be okay because we're going the right direction. It's like a washing machine. Put me in the washing machine for three hours, spin me around and then jump out. Uh, I swallowed a lot of seawater. Anyway, I'm really glad it's done. It was a decent time, 2.48. And remember the other one in the Adriatic was nearly four hours. So we're getting faster, we're getting stronger and I'm beginning to really enjoy them now. The Bosphorus behind me is, is, is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the whole world. So ships are coming from all over the world, coming up here 
coming along the Bosphorus to trade with the ports around the Black Sea. One of the major issues which we face from an environmental point of view is that ships, they often take on ballast. So this is water which they take on, they put it into tanks inside the ship, and that ensures that the ship is stable. So you're taking water from one part of the world, and whatever is in that water, and you're dumping it in another part of the world, and that can have a significant impact on the environment. What's happened here in the Black Sea is that a number of years ago, jellyfish from off the coast of America were taken accidentally from the coast of America, dumped into the Black Sea, okay? They then, you know, bloomed in, in, in this environment. They started eating the tiny little uh, larvae of fish. As a result of that, uh, the fish stocks literally collapsed. So this is a major issue and the International Maritime Organization has been, has been working very, very hard to ensure that all the ships in the world have an effective water ballast treatment system inside them to ensure that when the water comes on board, it's treated, it's neutralized, that when it's released into another part of the world, you're not going to be introducing alien species into that sea. It's been such a wonderful time here. It's the, the history, it's the culture, it's and most importantly the people. You know, we've come here, we've met the most fantastic people, they've helped us. But now we must go because two days time we're doing a swim in the Red Sea and uh, it's sad. This has been a wonderful, wonderful part of this expedition and this campaign. I've done the Med, I've done the Adriatic, I've done the Aegean, now I've done the Black Sea. Only three to go. Two days time we've got the Red Sea, then we've got the Arabian Sea and then finally the tough one which will be the North Sea. The um, general is going for a swim, he's going to jump off the roof, obviously, because he's 73 and he's unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> he's amazing. 